Today we are discussing about the TE algorithm, TNE encryption algorithm. Nowadays most of the malware samples are using TE algorithm because of its uh, simplicity and implementation. Typically we can say it's a few lines of code to implement the algorithm. See implementation of the TE algorithm given in the left side. The encryption and decryption code will be given here. Here VO and V1 are the data to be encrypted or decrypted. The sum and delta are the constant and KO, K1, K2, K3 are the keys. Algorithm is basically doing shift left by 4 and right by 5 with a respective XOR function with a certain iteration in the certain iteration. Control flow of the TE algorithm given in the right side. You can understand how the data will be flow and key will be used in the algorithm. On the reverse engineering prospect queue, the how TE algorithm looks like in assembly code is given here. To identify TE algorithm, first we, we have to note down the cons TA constants, that is the delta and sum. In encryption, delta is 9E377 9B9 and sum will be 0. For a decryption, the delta will be same and sum will be a different value. In the assembly code, shift left by 4 and right by 5 with a respective XOR function highlighted here. So it will be in a certain uh, iteration. By by considering the TA constant and shift left by 4, right by 5 with a re respective XOR function, we can say the, the sample is encrypting or decrypting data using a TA algorithm. Let's move into the practical. I'll consider, uh, I'll take a one malware sample and we can see how it's uh, decrypting data using a TA algorithm.